And good evening everyone. Now at 10 o'clock, one of the most alarming effects of the Nashville bombing was some people's inability to get through to 911. Our emergency communications plan had it all covered and all their backup plans work. Yeah, but those are just plain useless if you don't have service. News 4's Rebecca Cardenas breaks down the other ways you can call for help if you can't get through to 911. No one could have predicted what took place on this block just over a month ago or the chaos that ensued afterward when much of the region was left without service. But it is the emergency communication center's job to prepare for the worst. But events like this happen actually uh, uh, as, as often as every every year, maybe even a couple of times a year um, on much smaller scales. Nashville ECC director Stephen Martini is talking about weather events or construction projects, but a bomb going off right in front of the building that connects much of the southeast was a first. And this is the largest scale. A uh, 911 outage or infrastructure outage since the 2004 rolling blackouts. So the ECC, though, is prepared for the worst. We went from step one to step three pretty quickly. Nashville AT&T customers' 911 calls are routed through that AT&T building. Martini says upon realizing it was compromised, the ECC rerouted calls to a facility outside Nashville. Or the way we receive those calls to a more traditional uh, copper line path that's been in place since the 60s. All of this, however, was no matter if you rely on AT&T for service. Now the ECC is working with other counties on different ways to reach dispatchers when you don't have service. Uh, had we had in place um, other paths, other ways to connect to our neighbors, we could have published alternate 10 digit numbers for folks to call and route through their system back into our center. The Metro non-emergency number is the next you should try if you can't get through to 911 or Hub Nashville using Wi-Fi. The ECC director says an emergency text line is also in the works. For News 4 Nashville, I'm Rebecca Cardenas.